He may be more well known for his accomplishments in the kitchen than on the slopes, but for world-renowned chef Wolfgang Puck, skiing is in his blood. We met up with him in Vail to talk about his passion for food, family, and getting on skis. Today's chairlift interview is with Wolfgang Puck, the famous chef. He's also a great skier. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I think I'm a better cook than I'm a skier, okay, okay. but uh, I'm learning. You know, I'm willing to become a better skier, and with a teacher like you, I'm oh. sure it will happen in no time. <laughs> We, he is getting better. We are working on a few things, getting yeah. over that downhill ski. I know, <laughs> to, to bend, uh, bend the knees better and uh, carve a little better. You know, when I grew up skiing, the technique was different than it is today. Why? Why? Because I think the skis were different. Yeah. Now, actually, the skis are much easier to ski. I remember I had the uh, long, skis which were skis. two meter, two and two yeah. meter five long, and yeah. just to carry them up the hill was a hard thing. Now we have shorter skis, and I think it's better. And yeah. you know, the uh, slopes are so well groomed here; it makes it a little easier than where I grew up in Austria with all the icy slopes and yeah. everything. But you are a natural Wolfgang, you're very good. Well, I think yeah. it's an Austrian DNA, I think so. If you're Austrian and you don't so ski, too. you're not Austrian. They take your passport <laughs> away, I think so. So skiing is probably the number one sport in Austria. So the ski racers are huge stars mm -hmm. in Austria. It's really the whole country is behind the skiers. Yeah. So where was your first place you skied in America? My first place was actually in Colorado, in Quackenridge exactly, and I was really nervous, but then I saw the way they groomed the slopes here, I said, and the way the snow is so dry, much easier than when I grew up in Austria. So I went back to ski then, and now I try to come every year with my children. Okay, now we ski Vail, next we ski Austria. Yeah, all right, okay. next year, yeah, in Lecco and Sears or something. Huh? Okay, okay, deal. <laughs> okay, so, I don't know how to cook, Wolfgang. Yeah. But here I am, skiing with a famous chef. And, and I just, just learning from you about your history and, and um, how young you went in, yeah. into this profession. Yeah, you know, I started with 14. I left school, 14, 14. moved away from my parents' home. And then at 17, I moved to France, worked for seven years in some of the great restaurants, like in Monaco, in Beaulieu, in Paris, and so forth. And then I came to the United States. To be so successful is really, it's a, a dream. I think in a way, for me, it's really like the American dream comes yeah. through. You know, I came to America with no money. And by 1982, I opened Spago, our first restaurant. It became this really phenomenal success. And then we start to open more restaurants. I remember we went to Tokyo, we opened in, uh, in Santa Monica, and then we continue to do restaurants in Las Vegas, at the airports, and now we are really international. We have restaurants in over. London, in Singapore, in Istanbul, in Bahrain, wow. in Qatar. The people come to your restaurant because of your cooking, but I'm thinking, now that I've got to ski with you a few days, that they come because you're just so nice and friendly and happy. They well, want to be around happy people. You know, it's true. Uh, we are in the hospitality business. Cooking is part of it, but we are in the hospitality people. and. What we try to do is make people feel good. We give people a good service, but we want to make people feel good. So that's his hospitality. If you have great hospitality, great food, you tend to be successful. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how to make a delicious brown butter. It tastes really nutty. Well, you're passionate about cooking. Yeah. It sounds that Well, you I love really it. love uh, cooking. And I think for me, it starts with great ingredients. And then I think we try not to mess them up. So whenever we open a restaurant, wherever it is, we always try to buy the best ingredients possible. And then it shouldn't be with so many sauces, so many ingredients around that you don't know anymore what you eat. My father used to say, don't be cheap, put more butter. But you know, cooking is like skiing. You have to learn the technique. And really for me, is to refresh my technique in skiing is an important part. So maybe yeah. I teach you how to cook. Okay, I think it's a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I need one tip from okay. Wolfgang. What is the cooking tip you're going to give me? Keep it simple. <laughs> okay, keep it simple. Yeah. Let's go skiing. Let's go skiing. <laughs>